today we are going to practice drawing eyes. And to do that, you're going to need your sketchbook. Okay, turn to a blank page. I thought page 12 was good since we already were working on page 11 yesterday or Monday, excuse me. Um, page 12 is a good place to start, but any empty page. So there are lots of different ways to draw eyeballs, um, but this is a way that has been successful for me. So I'm going to share that with you right now. So the first thing you need to do is to draw a circle. Okay, because the center of your eye is round. Your iris, pupil, your cornea, all that part is round. So uh, the center part of your eye is the pupil. Say when your pupil gets dilated, it gets bigger. Uh, that allows more light to get in. So when it's uh, dark outside, your pupils are bigger. And when it's brighter, they're smaller. Okay, so medium size, dark value in the middle. So the darkest value is your pupil. Then I'm going to start shading and I have brown eyes. So my eyes will be a medium value. If you have light blue eyes, then they will be a lighter value. Since this is a pencil drawing, we're just practicing different shades of gray. Okay. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do, because you could do this one of two ways, you can either kind of mark out a chunk for a highlight, or you can go back in with your eraser later and erase it out. I just like to go ahead and leave a white area that way I can, I know that that is as white as the page. So that will be the brightest value on my paper. Okay, now I'm going to, kind of looks like a Pokemon ball, a little bit, I don't know if you can tell that. Very slightly, the upper half of your eye is ever so slightly darker than the lower half because your eyebrow, or not your eyebrow, pardon me, your eyelid covers part of your eye. And you never see your entire uh, eyeball, like the entire circle part of it, really ever. If you did, it would look like you were absolutely terrified. So that's not a natural look have that. So now I've done the upper and the lower lid, that kind of tear duct thing in the corner. Now the, the whites of my eye, even though they are technically white, they are not going to be as white as that highlight in the middle. So I am just making sure to give them a little bit of shading, not much because I still want them to be white. And if I don't like how uh, dark I made them, I can always touch it up with my eraser. Yes, I'm using a mechanical pencil right now and I don't love mechanical pencils, but my other drawing pencil is getting a little bit dull. So for some fine details, I am using my mechanical pencil. They are good for fine details. All right, so then uh, I need to think about lashes and Generally for, for boys or men, I don't draw a lot of long, fabulous lashes because most men I know don't spend a lot of time with their eyelashes. That's not a priority in their life. So maybe I'll just give them some uh, shorter lashes or I might give them even just a darker line across the eye so that gives the illusion that there are lashes there. Now, a lot of ladies I know, all different ages, spend a lot of time on their lashes and some of them have very fabulous long lashes or they have false lashes, fake lashes, whatever. I don't care, it's all good. But um, that's when you want to use your line skills to make different weights of line so you can create the illusion 
of lashes and multiple lashes. I don't typically draw lashes all the way from the corner, interior corner out, because typically you don't see them over there. You just see kind of the line shadow that's kind of plays a trick on you, okay? And there's my eyelid right there. So that's rounded because it is holding that eyeball, because that is a round form, spherical form in place. Then I have my lower lid and I can either draw a darker line or I can do some shorter, lighter lashes. Again, I'm not going to draw them all the way across because that tends to look more cartoony, less realistic. Um, and I'm teaching you a little bit of tricks for realism. You can use your finger or a blending stump and blend out some of your uh, eyelid to give it some more value. If you have any kind of dark circles under your eyes, hopefully you don't, but you can also give yourself some shade underneath your eye as well, like that. And that's looking pretty nice. That's not too bad, okay? So that is how you draw an eye. For today, for our assignment, I want you to practice drawing as many different eyes as you can on your page. I want you to fill your page. And I have one, two, three, and a quarter. So when you have filled your page with as many eyes as you can, then pick your top three best, the ones that you think you have done the best job on. And I want you to circle those. Okay? Let's get to drawing.